Darren, after that, that first drive where they go 75 yards, uh, you guys really locked in. What, what did you, you, know, you kind of tell the team after that? Um, you know, we, we got to do things right. You know, we did some things was, that was kind of selfish in that possession. If you watch, we got out our gaps, and we didn't do things that was the right way, the way we played football. And after that, we got, we got together and we talked, like a good defense does, and we said, can't make these mistakes. We got to do what we got to do. I don't think they got inside your 35-yard line until the starters were long out the game after that possession. How happy are you with what happened the rest of the way on defense? I'm very happy. You know, we got to be a dominant defense. Uh, going into conference, we got to do things like that. Uh, we got UCF coming in two weeks. Um, they're a great team, and they do some things on offense that we got to we got to pay attention to. So that's what um, we worked on that. We wanted to get the goose egg tonight, but we couldn't because we messed up in the first drive. But after that, I think we played fairly well. Especially the, the young guys when they came in, they played good too. There looked like there was a lot of jumping around, uh, enthusiasm on defense, especially when the offense got going. How much does the offense moving, scoring, get you guys pumped up too? Well, that helped us. You know, um, as long as we could get a break off on the sideline um, and catch a breather and and collect ourselves and see what's going on, um, instead of three and outs and getting right back on the field, you know, that helps us out. So when we see them do well, you know. We happy for them because they got a lot of young guys on there, and we look at those guys as little brothers. You know, uh, so when they're doing well, it's, it's great for the defense also. Coach used the word confidence a lot this week. Um, do you feel more confident after this win? Oh yeah, you know you always feel confident after a win, um, no matter who the opponent is. You know that was a great team. Um, they probably gonna win their conference and go to the playoffs. They've been in the playoffs um, a lot lately, and they won it and they won their conference in 2013. So. They're still a great team. They got a lot of young guys on that team also. And there's a lot of talk about, you know, getting comments from like an FCS win, but we see all, all, Auburn nearly lost to Jacksonville State. Uh, Furman beat Central Florida today. Um, so does, can you look at this tape and see things that you guys can do positively going forward? Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, it don't matter who the opponent is, you know. Um, a lot of FCS teams like uh, South Dakota State, you know, they beat a lot of teams. So you, you got to watch out for those guys because they don't have nothing to lose. You know, they're onside kick it, they're a fake punt, you know, so you always got to be on your keys, especially playing against teams like that. After last week, how did it feel to get that interception and really make an impact this year, <laughs> this week? Yeah, all week I was telling Tanner, I was messing with Tanner all week, telling him, dude's back, dude's back, you know, and to come out and, and get a pick. You know, I missed the first one. <laughs> it it kind of sailed on me. But the second one, you know, I bobbled that one too. So I got to work on my hands this week. You know, look like.